Okay, so we're going to be covering Keffel's stream here. She's saying she's going to burn everything down. I'm not sure exactly what's going to happen. I get a feeling this might be the drama that Chud was alluding to on stream the other day, if you guys are around for that. <laughs> he was saying he got DMs saying that something big was going to drop. Today on stream, he was disappointed that it hadn't dropped. Now something's dropping, so I can only imagine this is what, this is what it's about. So we'll just it's about Xander Hall, but also about everything, apparently. So we'll, we'll just see what Keffel's got to say here. I don't even know where to fucking begin, to be honest. We're going to be talking about Xander Hall. We're going to be talking about the stuff that happened with my ex. We're going to be talking about the doxings, the swattings. We're going to be talking about Kiwi Farms. We're going to be talking oh. about BreadTube and all of the large creators who have been complicit with it. This is okay. a stream where everything gets put on the table. Okay. We could be eating good. I'm wiggling. I'm going to be talking about Thought Slime. I'm going to be talking about FD Signifier. Oh, I'm going to oh. be talking about all of these people We're wiggling. who have platformed fascists in their content in order to attack Ooh. people in their own community. Ooh, ugh, I don't like this. Ugh. Everything gets put on the table tonight. We're just making noise at this shit. Okay. Let's speed this up. And all She's that I ask before we start the stream is make sure to like the stream and make sure to let people know the stream is happening. Okay, she is spitting with that one though, guys. Please like the stream, like the stream, subscribe to the channel, donate, buy a membership, gift a membership, buy a super chat if you can. Thank you very much. There's been a lot of stuff that has happened behind the scenes over the course of a year that I have not discussed. And it's time to bring everything out and put it on the table, to bring it to light and to expose how much shady shit goes on behind the scenes. I get, I a feeling, get the feeling. Get the feeling. I she won't be talking about Brianna Wu. Um, before the stream. Get and the feeling she really won't be talking about Brianna Wu and all um, that shady shit. I get the feeling what I'm actually going to be talking won't about. be happening. I'm going to give it about 10, 15 minutes and then I'm going to get into it. We got, we got a lot to do. We have a lot to cover. Cybersmith, shut the fuck up. I have absolutely no patience for you today. Now, okay, I'm going to go that's, full that's conspiracy it. mode immediately. I don't even care. I'm. This is mask off schizophrenic. I am telling you my innermost thoughts right now, okay? I get the feeling this is a somewhat financially motivated decision where she is essentially trying to take out and slam you know, the the opposition, the less DNC, Democrat-friendly uh, sort of other lefty streamers that aren't on board with the Wu camp, that aren't taking the money. And so she's going to go after KF again, say, probably try to, like, I don't know, link people to, the, link these people to KF or something, and it's going to be just, like, an absolutely insane Wu shill, uh, you know, Full bore, yay! I don't even know what to say. I'm, I'm just here's to keep you from getting so seasonally affected that you don't cut off anything. Once upon a time, I had the flu. My parents bought me a beanie baby snowman. I lost it during a move. Years later, I wanted one, and then some bad stuff happened. My e. Uh, thank you for the five dollars, Kefal Snowman. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, who is taking money from who? Here is my speculative, speculative, it's all speculative, I've got no evidence, there's no evidence, oh it's eight dollars, sorry, eight dollars from Catholic Snowman, thank you very much, thank you, thank you. This is all speculative, I've got no evidence, okay, no evidence of anything ever, apart from Wick, okay. No evidence of this, so don't sue me, woo, okay, because she's very litigious, I know that. But I believe the people taking money are... Vosh, Laundry, Connor, Xanderhall, Connor being counterpoints, Stardust, Wick, Destiny, Lycan, Straterade, Erudite, Pixie, Femboy Maths, Jenny Matrix, and uh, several others. 
Uh, now you may be wondering what might be the how are they getting paid? What's going on? So Wick obviously got paid sponsorships for hosting panels. Uh, and, you know, I've been hearing some rumors circulating, so I'm just going to do some wild speculation here. And I would say, <clears throat> if, if someone like Brianna Wu were to set up a progressive victory, sort of like, you know, streamer payment system that's going on, right? If, if she were to set this up, how, how would she set it up? Let's schizo theory this, okay? Obviously no evidence for any of this. But I would imagine it would be something like this. It would be a pay structure done in tiers according to viewership. An optional weekly meet meeting is held for which you are given 1k to 3k for attending. There's no obligation to do anything off the back of these meetings. They're social clubs. Wu has likely been encouraging Wick to make more solo content, pushing them politics. The vibe behind the scenes is that Brianna Wu is a pretentious retard. Anyone with any sense, brackets destiny, is using it to get connections while keeping, at the, retard keeping the retardation at arm's length. Uh, this is highly disputed, but there is a claim there are two separate group chats to stop lefties fighting with DGG Orbiters. Uh, previous lists I've made uh, who are on the Wu payroll, payroll have been somewhat confirmed by people who seem to know what they're talking about. Uh, so, you know, if someone, I would imagine it would look something like that, if someone were to be doing this. If someone were to be doing this, that's what I imagine it would look like. That's... Obviously, I've got no idea. I've got no idea. I'm just an idiot. Kui Farms is not a reliable source, okay? So let's just make that totally clear. Now, where are you, f bombs in my messages? There you go. There's that... You know, I have heard some things here and there, okay? I've heard little bits and pieces. And let's just say I'm a confident person, okay? I'm very, I'm, I'm relatively confident in my assessment of the situation, but I wouldn't know. I've got no real information, okay? No hard evidence. But I feel confident. That's all I'll say. All right. There's no palate cleansers. There's none of this is silly. We have a significant amount of stuff to cover today. From the response to yesterday's stream to all of the things that have happened behind the scenes in the last year. Okay, guys, I have reason to believe that this may not be motivated by Wu. So we'll give Keffel's... I'll give some charity. I'll say this now. I have a little bit of reason to believe this may not be motivated by Wu. So we'll give Keffel some charity here, okay? I'll just tell the mods. Um, feel free to mute whoever you want. I don't care. If you're not talking about anything that is directly related to the topics I'm going to be discussing tonight, then I'm probably not going to be addressing you. This is stuff that I've been sitting on for quite some time, and I'm going to just... We have a lot, a lot to discuss. Like, I can't emphasize that enough. In about 10 minutes after everyone gets in, I'll start. I'm hoping that once all of this stuff is addressed, I can... Where does we get all of our money? Frank's very rich. She was rich before anyway, and uh, she's obviously got access to a lot of money through PAX and the DNC. Move on. But I don't think I can move on until everything is finally on the table and out in the light. All right, we're starting in four minutes. Make sure to like the stream if you haven't yet. Grab some snacks. We're in this for the long haul. Everything is going to be explained.
here. Come on, Gables, get, get on with it. To come on now. For a while, with fucking time to come back. You came back at an absolutely insane time. If you've been gone for a while, I'm going to be. I'm going to start the stream by talking about what happened following the stream where I finally came forward with the stuff that happened with my ex during the Drop Kiwi Farm saga. I'm going to be going from there into talking about some very nefarious things that have happened behind the scenes and some of the things that the largest content creators on the left have been doing. I know that a lot of people are still speculating what the stream will be about, and it'll be revealed. We have to get there. Everything needs to be explained in order for us to get to the meat and potatoes of this. It's going from the specific to the general. I get we're getting Destiny, Vosh, and Keffles, but why the hell would they pay Stardust? Yeah, your guess is as good as mine. It's because it's basically just a social club. Uh, it's not about achieving any real political ends it's literally just about woo getting in a social club with the people she she sees as sort of like important and relevant to internet culture it's the exact same shit she did back in gamergate exact same shit paid her way in got a bunch of publicity started trying to get get some of the heat and getting good with uh with with, with the targets you get paid based off the size of your audience that is true that is true F bombs had a different theory. Spit F bombs. Spit your shit, King. Is it Wu's personal funds or donations? I believe it's coming through uh, Rebellion Pack. I believe. So it would be it'd be Pack funds donations. Okay. From the DNC. I'm starting in about a minute. The increase in eyeballs increases the value of the pack. Yeah. Mm. So. But no, that doesn't make sense to me, F bombs, because that wouldn't. Because that, then you still run into the same issue of why the fuck is she paying Wick and Stardust, right? Because they're not getting her any more eyeballs. Um. So no, I think it is. It is socially motivated and clout motivated, because that's how Wu's operated for the entire time she's been online. I'm mentally preparing myself, considering all of the stuff that I have to talk about. I want to thank you all, first of all, for the people who were here when I opened up about everything that happened last year with my ex-partner. That was the hardest stream I have ever had to do in my life. Those were things that I kept buried. That Rebellion Pack looks legit at a glance. If I found out it was funding Stardust, I would be deeply unhappy about that. Yeah, so it was originally started by Chenk. Obviously now Brianna runs it because Chenk can't. Well, Brett Renner always helped run it, I think, but Chenk can't be involved in it directly now because he's running for president, which he can't even be sworn in for because he's, you know, not born in America. But, uh, yeah, it's Brianna's operation now. And, yeah, we're waiting sort of, I, I think, Bug, myself, and Sourcing Support are all sort of waiting for uh, the financial reports for last quarter to come out about... Um, from, from Rebellion Pack, so that we can see exactly how much money everyone's being paid. Which should be, I believe, public information. Eight at me every single fucking day. And I thought that I would need more time away after that. But after I talked about that, a huge weight lifted. When I was able to actually be open about the things that happened to me, I got to reclaim that part of my story in my life. And I feel like only now am I able to actually move forward, that I was just constantly stuck in the past. And that's what made me decide to just lay everything out. So that's what we're going to do today. There's more. My God, is there more than what I have to talk about? If you don't know what I'm talking about, go watch the VOD that's called I Was Raped, because you're going to be missing the context for the beginning of this stream. I laid everything out, and now I have to lay everything else out. Thankfully, I got some good sleep. I'm not an anxious mess today. And I'm ready to cover all of this.
Oh, tipster. Congrats on being um in the intro to the H3 uh, streamies. That was fucking awesome. I'm incredibly proud to be your friend. And thank you for being there with me throughout all of this. Buffnos. And again, if you're missing the context, go watch the VOD in the last stream that I did on this channel. We have a lot to go over. We're going to start with the response from my ex. After I did that last stream, she put out her response. And as I was looking into this, I realized how deep some of this went how malicious and sinister and how connected this is to so many people in this space. This stopped just being about my ex. FD Signifier is involved. Foreign Man in a Foreign Land is involved. Wop Goblin. Rosalind Tallison. The Noodles Are Tasty Woman. Kiwi Farms is involved. But in order for me to explain all of these connections, I have to start from the very beginning. So buckle in. And let's go through this. This is the response by my ex from that stream. Whoever actually values transparency and accountability can ask me about accusations against me. For myself, I know they are a maliciously slanderous and entirely false part of a narcissistic smear campaign. This is something Keffels has done before, which I thankfully documented. She continues by saying, for the record, I'm a disabled trans woman who's a working class PhD student living at the poverty line, who now has to fight to clear her name in the court of public opinion. I don't have an audience or experience in this, so people's patience and good faith is greatly appreciated. She continued on. on. As long as unverifiable claims about pets are being made, Keffels let her favorite guinea pig drown to death in like two inches of water. There were multiple summers where she let four of them roam in their own waste for so long, we'd get massive fruit fly infestations. For my part, my cat is still alive at 13 years. She's healthy and happy, and most definitely won't die of neglect, so... Let me just address this real quick. I didn't drown my guinea pig. My guinea pig was sick. And my guinea pig passed away in an accident. She was in the bath, two inches of water. I got a call I needed to take. I stepped out for one minute. And when I stepped out for that one minute... Have I been... How long have I been fucking muted? Holy shit. Dude, drown her guinea pig. She did drown... It sounds like she did drown her guinea pig. She just did it by accident. I just It's fine to... Look, guinea pigs die. Okay? Guinea pigs die. It's fine. It's not a big deal. But it does sound like you drowned your guinea pig by mistake. Is not to say I did not abuse my cat. The response was my cat is alive and the pet you loved is dead. This is sadism. This is deflection from the point. So she, then, she, I, she's like, I had this guinea pig since it was a baby. For, so what, like two months? <laughs> Hey, she posted here? her cat and said, helping my partner move, but this cute dumb baby claimed her stuff. Unbelievable. Rubbing it in my face that my pet is dead and hers isn't. I want to talk what? to this one. Rubbing it in my face, dumb baby, and said, then, sadism. This is deflection from the- Then, she posted her cat 
and said, helping my partner move. This seems schizophrenic. Like, you're, it, what, what is the assumption? How often does this person tweet? Is it really that crazy that they would take a picture of their cat and post it? it you like, is the timing your only reasoning for this? Because that's not very strong. Strong reasoning for this being like a psychological torture campaign. But this cute dumb baby claimed her stuff. Unbelievable. Rubbing it in my face that my pet is dead and hers isn't. I want to talk about what Darvo is. Because I can't change the abuse that I went through. The things that Althea did to me will oh, always no. be a part of me. It has changed me forever. It has fucked me up in so many unimaginable ways. And the only thing that I want from talking about this is to teach people how to recognize the signs of abusive relationships so they don't have to deal with what I've had to deal with. DARVO, an acronym for Deny, Attack, and Reverse Victim and Offender, is a reaction that perpetrators of wrongdoing, such as sexual offenders, may display in response to yeah, being held accountable for their your bingo cards, guys. Some researchers indicate that it is a common manipulation strategy of psychological abusers. And I want to go over, step by step, how she used Darvo. One, the abuser denies the abuse ever took place. And as you see here, for myself, I know they are a maliciously slanderous and entirely false part of a narcissistic smear campaign. She completely denies everything, even though I put out two hours of receipts. I have multiple testimony. Okay, this is really shady. This is really fucking shady because she did not have very strong evidence for the claim she was making. Oh, okay, sleepy. <laughs> From other people in our lives who knew both of us. Number two. When confronted with evidence, the abuser then attacks the person that was abused and or the person's family and or friends for attempting to hold the abuser accountable for their actions. And as you see here, I brought up the fact that her body is covered in cat scratches from not recognizing or respecting the boundaries of her pet cat. And when confronted with that evidence, she turned it around or poorly attempted to turn it around on me. She didn't address anything I had to say and instead said, oh, well, Keffel's literally drowned a guinea pig. And we'll go to the third part now. <sighs> Number three, the abuser claims that they are actually the victim in the situation, thus reversing the positions of victim and offender. It involves not just playing the victim, but also victim blaming. So it's important to note again, throughout the majority of this relationship, I was tr a trans woman, who was too disabled to work. I was on social assistance and they were a cis grad student with a union job. But here they're saying, I'm a disabled trans woman who's a working class PhD student living at the poverty line. They were not a trans woman during our relationship and we both lived in poverty during the relationship. No, but that, that's not what she's saying. Why is, dude, Keffels is actually being so fucking slimy. That's not what she's saying. She's saying that right now, like, this is a retarded tweet, but she's saying right now, that is what she is. Saying, I'm having to clear my name in the court of public opinion. She's saying, I've got all this going on, and I'm having to clear my name in the public opinion. It's nothing to do with what she was at the time. This is so rich coming from Keffels, who, like, totally fucked up the timeline of her entire relationship on, on that stream the other day to make it sound, like, insane, where she's, like, jumping back and forwards between breakups across, like, six different years. So, all three parts of Darvo are being displayed. The thing is that... Abusers are able to get away with this sort of behavior when it isn't brought to light. But when this is exposed to this many people, they lash out. They can't help themselves. They're used to being sneaky about it. They're used to being able to gaslight because there's no witnesses. But this time, everything that she says in response makes her look more detestable. It makes her look disgusting. So I'm going to go over the responses here. I watched most of her stream. If Ghazi Kodzos was A-tier level manipulation and crazy, she maybe scratched the bottom of D. I take sexual assault accusations very seriously, but there's just so much evidence on the table that conflicts with her allegations. I believe you. She responds to this. Ghazi Kodzo was not A-tier level <laughs> manipulation. I mean, he, he, he did have a very, very nice cult going on. I'll be real. It was a very respectable cult. 
but he was like obviously insane to anyone on the outside, right? Thank you so much. It's so unsettling seeing the psychophants eating it up. My chance to speak, a couple hundred words and some receipts. Keep in mind, every single thing she has said, I have put on my own platform. I have put everything out, even though I know she's lying, because I think that she should be able to say what she wants to say. However, I have the right to respond to this. She said that my chance to speak was a two hour stream with nuclear option false claim. I don't know how anyone can think that's at all a fair chance for a defense of my innocence. And again, she instigated all of this. I never wanted to talk about it. I never wanted Make to- Make it smaller, anything. maybe that's less, uh, less distracting. She continues in a conversation in her replies. Seems like, she's so, seems like so far, she's trying to provide context for certain text messages without providing proof that the context is legitimate. To be clear, I'm not suggesting she's lying. Both sides need to have their time to show their story to have full context and transparency about what happened. She responds to this, but again, for my part, I affirm her worst claim is 100% false. To be honest, I think it's more punishment for ever having dared speak up about abuse. I think she figures if, she's, if she ups the ante with a claim... Oh, Emery shout out. <laughs> ...something worse than what was done to me, she'll get ahead of my claims. To which Emery here responds, gotcha. I'm sure you have this in mind, but just to say it anyway, off the, the, on the off chance you don't, take every bit of substantive evidence to back up your story Emery, and put it out publicly in a cohesive manner. To which she responds... We'll have to make some sort of timeline of all I have. Thankfully, I have evidence as far back as 2020 showing that she'll lie about anything when she feels it's convenient. Un yeah, Keffel's on normal speed does sound slow. You're correct. Fortunately, this isn't my first rodeo with her. It's caught campaigns. up to live. It's live. And even here, she's not being consistent. In the first tweet, she said that everything that i said was part of a narcissistic smear campaign but then she goes on to say for my part i affirm her worst claim is 100 percent false she's admitting that the other claims that i made of her abuse are true through omission she has already admitted it okay but she's i imagine what this is going to come down to is that she's going to disagree with your framing of the actions and why they happened and what was going on right she might say she'll probably say yes i did wake her up but it's because we had to find a new place and she was sleeping until 11 in the morning every day because she's a fucking addict that's what Otia's gonna say whereas careful was gonna say i was being woken up all the time just to torture me right so yeah she's gonna they're probably gonna agree on a lot of the factual accounts But that was just the response. We need exactly. to talk sounds, about... To me, it sounds like a two-way toxic relationship. That's how it comes off. Some of the people that she associates with. These are the people, well, some of the people, which I'll get into in a second, that Althea follows. Blood, a former moderator in my community. Okay. Wop Goblin. Is, is Keffel's never going to mention the fact that Blood was charged with arson? Is that a complete schizo who does like, is that, there's like videos of him doing fentanyl on Twitter. An ex fan who is incredibly tilted that I denounced Stalinism and Rosalind Talusin. Yeah, is it she? Fuck me. I, I, I can't be able to find it. Yes, but just believe me, there's videos of this person doing fentanyl. So. The noodles are tasty woman. Let's start with Rosalind. Rosalind liked the tweet that my ex put out. If you don't know who Rosalind is, Rosalind's claim to fame was tweeting, Why did a white woman write a cookbook about dumplings and noodles? I got involved in this story because over a year later, 
she found and dug up a tweet. I quote tweeted her when I had a smaller platform at the time than her. Dude, mind she sounds you, so slow. And said, because dumplings and noodles are tasty. Over a year later, as you can see, she decided to dig it up for some Who cares? Reason. The date of my original tweet, 8-17-21, and the date of Rosalind bringing it back up was July 8th, 2022. I can only speculate about her motives, but I think that it's very important to point out that she instigated this, and all I have ever done was respond. That entire noodle discourse has led to multiple hit pieces. For instance, foreign man in a foreign land putting out when you're racist but gay, including an entire section about me. And you can see in the background, there's tweets that say things like noodled, W noodles, noodles are tasty, woman is a slur, it's transphobic to call it a period, it's a man read. I'm shitposting. This also led to entire hit piece articles. For instance, out of the Mary Sue, framing Keffels as a face of trans resistance has allowed her racism to stay unchallenged, a reign of terror. In the article, I am accused of popularizing racist dog whistles. And the tweets in question that were included in this article, I have gathered what I need. When I wake, it is time to make tasty noodles from the why did a white woman make a cookbook about dumplings and noodles cookbook. I will report on my findings. Noodles are tasty. Woman is- I'm losing my mind. You're fucking with the speed, right? Yeah, I'm changing- I When I'm behind, I'm changing it up to two times and it catches up and it's slowing back down to normal. The slur, it's transphobic to call the period, it's a man read. Finally feeling up for cooking again after dealing with chronic health issues. So I hope you are ready for more noodle posting. Apparently some people are mad at me for cooking noodles, but considering it was only in February, I was cooking crack. I say this is a huge improvement. And the final tweet. I apparently was number four yesterday on the Blue Sky Global Block List. But if you believe statements like noodles are tasty is a racist dog whistle, like noodles are tasty is a racist dog whistle, or Keffels is racist because she added the Italian flag colors to the pride flag, you are brain dead, and I don't want to interact with you. The most recent iteration of the noodle discourse has been in a video that was put out by Hoots, and if you haven't seen, I reacted to it only a day ago. However, something very interesting happened. Hoots apologized to me. This has never happened to me before. After a creator put out a hit piece. Was we have 10 minutes unwatchable at normal speed? <laughs> um, no. We're just going to have to get through it. No, it's, uh, I, I agree, but we're just going to get through it. Um, she's back on the dope, isn't she? Uh, well, she released a video about being on SSRIs like last week, so I think that might be more of an explanation. We'll stop fucking with the speed anyway. We'll listen to our retarded slurring. Who said the very way. malicious, hurtful things. I tweeted out in the video, Hoots. I'm going to take a break. I'm going to take a second. I'm going to drink some water. Got so much to go through. Dude, she like can't get through a sentence. This is insane. We love water. Make sure to like the stream on YouTube. Dude, is it just, she's like insane, isn't she? Is it, there's something weird about this. She's drunk, you reckon? There is something seriously weird about this, right? The way she's acting. Maybe it's nerves. Maybe it's nerves. So, I tweeted out, in the video Hoots did, she said my entire body of work could be characterized as harassing minorities, even though I'm more of a minority than she is, with the most notable things in my online career being what? raising- I'm more of a minority than she is. Keffles, what is this, bro? Money for minorities, and being swatted for being a minority. Now, to be honest with you all, I don't really like using this kind of identity politics, you but stinked. I know that it was something that would speak to her specifically, and I was weaponizing identity politics for the sake of trying to get through to her. Okay. It worked, and she responded. You know what? This is a fair criticism of what was kind of a mean-spirited joke. I made in a video where I go on to say, maybe let's not do that. It was shitty of me. She responded to that. I was being a mean girl and I'm sorry, Clara. I hope you're well. And I accepted the apology. 
because I am very used to people not apologizing. And I never want people to feel like if they apologize for doing me wrong, I am going to escalate the conflict. I accepted it, I was shocked, and I respect her for not doubling down or ignoring me. She said nothing to double down on, I fucked up here. Thanks for being cool about it. But I'm not, I'm not going to jump saying she's off the wagon. I think SSRIs could explain it, but this is certainly fucking strange. This is why this is surprising to me. Rosalind was enabling her. On December 6th, and keep in mind, this was December 17th, yesterday. On December 6th, Hoots tweeted out, 200 words in a 31-minute video essay is hardly a hit piece. Rosalind responds, everything is a hit piece when you've got skin thinner than a Kleenex. To which Hoots replies, I feel like I was actually very gentle. Rosalind responds to her, one person mentioned, and she's talking about me here, seems to be more mad over something you didn't even call them than they are over the comment about their body of work. To which Hoots responds, if anything, criticize me for making a very flippant criticism because that's what it was. Two offhand comments aimed at bigger creators than me. And maybe I deserve some shit for that, but it's not like I was ever really talking about those people. I'm meaner to myself in the vid. To which Rosalind responds, you executed this very well in my opinion. It's not a drama video or a hit piece. It's a call out for leftists who use their massive platforms for mostly punching down and being cruel. So this is why I think it is very important to give Hoots the W. I call with the important, important. You. So when I'm Hoots saying. was obviously being enabled by Rosalind in order to say the things that she said about me. Going back to July 18th, and this, the context of this is me shitposting out of spite about noodles, following foreign man in a foreign land, putting out the noodle hit piece, following the Mary Sue article that also maligned me and called me a white supremacist because of Rosalind. Katie Montgomery posted, I made faux, I said, why are you being racist? And Hoots posted the photo and said, it's fan behavior at this point. Like, this is cringe. She couldn't stop thinking and talking about Rosalind even if she wanted to. Full brain worms. Now, this was from the replies, and I found this very interesting. Someone asked her, do you honestly think people would stop using noodles or tasty as an example of alleged racism if she just stopped bringing it up? And Hoots replies, yeah, probably. I didn't think it was when she first used it to dunk on Rosalind's tweet or whatever. It was just a shit post. So she even admits back then that noodles are tasty was never a racist dog whistle, nor did I have racist intent when I initially quote tweeted her. But to continue. She says, what makes it feel racist is her obsessing over Rosalind and constantly bringing up the noodle thing. And to my defense, the only time- but this I is like all the sort of shit that Keffels does, isn't it? Like Keffels treats people this exact same fucking way. I bring up the noodle thing is in response to people bringing up the noodle thing. My entire position has been one of reacting to other people and not instigating. So well, another person bad. responds to her. I, meant to care. I can't believe she hasn't let it go after two years. I've never followers- I've never followed her, but I've heard she's pretty terrible to black trans women. Of course, an unsubstantiated claim. And I've seen some examples of her ableism shared as well. She just seems really mean. So Hoots replies to this. I really don't fuck with any of the- God forbid someone make an unsubstantiated claim about Keffels, because she would never do that. Fog people either. Like, she's I have no dog that. in this fight except for Kaylin, who is one of my best friends and Rosalind's in-real-life friend, and who has been harassed for the mildest criticism of Keffels. They said she's unkind. Now, keep in mind, all I have ever done is defend myself against false claims. I would not talk about noodles if no one brought up noodles ever again. But that's it for Rosalind. I've talked plenty about Rosalind in the past, and many of you know who Wop Goblin is. It's going to be it's going to be very important to go over all of the people that I'm mentioning, considering what I'm about to drop afterward. If you're unfamiliar with who Wop Goblin is, Siesta Socialist on Twitter, Wop Goblin is an ex fan who turned on me because I started to be incredibly critical towards totalitarian leftists, specifically tankies, Stalinists, Marxist-Leninists, whatever you want to call them. 
this is a post between WAP Goblin and my ex. And I think that it shines some light on the motivations that my ex has. WAP Goblin tweeted out, who wants to be part of the WAP Goblin regime? To which Althea responds, fellow traveler comradeship moment? Now, to those who are unfamiliar with what fellow traveler means, I'll just lay it out. Fellow traveler means someone who is ideologically a Stalinist, but is not a member of a communist organization. Okay, and? So Althea is very much still a tanky. Okay, I'm and? not. We met each other in the communist party. Okay, and? And I think that the reason, well, one of the reasons that she's doing this is that she agrees with what WAP Goblin said here. People ask why I focus so much on streamers like- Why- wait, so why would we assume that your abusive ex is doing it for an ideological motivation and not just simply- This- this is just- no, this is so weird. The way Keffels is presenting this is just- So- it feels so dishonest, it really does. There is no reason, uh, just because someone agreed with a tweet that had an ideological point being made that was negative towards you, that doesn't mean that's the most likely explanation for their behavior, especially not if you've got a pre-existing relationship with this person where they've been abusing you. That doesn't, that doesn't make sense, like, do you guys get what I'm saying? Like, that, that's not the first, that's not the most likely motivation in that situation. Ethels. It's because they are radicalizing Gen Z, the most, the most sympathetic generation to socialism, into becoming rabid anti-communists focused on destroying everyone to their left while infiltrating socialist spaces. So my ex, who is a Stalinist, is propping up WAP Goblin, sharing information from our past, doing everything- They just- Agreeing with everything Kef was just saying in the chat. Thing ...that she can in order to hurt me. Because she's ideologically aligned with WAP Goblin, who thinks that my platform is a threat to Stalinism. Yeah, I don't now, think that's why I would assume with these it's introductions if it's happening. Out of the way for the major two. Let's talk about blood. Blood Becoming, Nihilissa. Okay, this will be fun. Hunter eh? Lion. She's gone by a lot of different names. Did she use dead name? Hunter Lion is the person's, like, birth name. It's online. What you need to know about her is that she is an ex-moderator who was removed from this community because she constantly instigated fights. She face-docked... She face doxed a streamer named Chud Logic, which Sorry. resulted in her being put into a manifesto made by Destiny, which she blames me for for some reason. And ever since I started openly associating and being friends with Vaughn. That's actually uh, Blood's face dox of Chud. is actually how I found out how Chud looks like. <laughs> she absolutely lost it. And she has dedicated her online presence in order to slander me and do whatever she can in order to hurt my platform. She's even admitted as much. Leftist unity is when we nuke Clara's follower count and social media presence for being an abusive narcissist who enables other abusive narcissists. Keffel's plug here to promote our Christmas special on some snow straight from the Escobars. Jesus. By an ounce, get an eight ball on us. Let IT snow and be sure to like and subscribe. Merry Christmas. Thank you very much for the $4.20 Keffel's Dark Web Dealer. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I could go on further, but there is a lot. There's a lot of ground to still cover. I just want to make it clear that it is not funny to call Keffel's 
I don't even want to read that out. I'll just put it on screen. I'll put it on screen because I don't want to make the joke. Because I don't know what the rules are on YouTube, but it's there. Before we get into the next thing, make sure to like the stream on YouTube. This is where things get interesting, to say the least. Oh, yeah? Whoops. Everything at this point has all been public knowledge. And the next part of this, I'm going to be sharing with you a lot of things that people don't know about. Okay. Let's see. Maybe Careful's can vindicate it. Maybe, maybe I, I, I've got a bad impression so far, but maybe she can, maybe this is where it's all going to come together. Okay. Izzy, we have to talk about another. I'd like to point out that Keffel's kept this person as a mod after they faced Doc's Chud logic as well. So this person has a massive, a big issue with doxing. Still had a do uh, someone that was doing a form of doxing as one of their mods. So just don't let Keffel's fucking snake away from this sort of shit, okay? Your person who plays a role in all of this. Now, Izzy isn't actually their name. They've gone by many names online. They've gone by Izzy. They've gone by Bell from, Bell from Blair. They've gone by Punish Nico. But under all of those names, they have been ever present in this story. And Althea follows them. Let's talk about who this is. We have to go back. I'm going to take a second here before we get into all of this. Okay. Before I continue, um, mods, make sure to pay attention to chat. Clean it up, Jannies. Sweep People it are up. Get, try get to sweeping. Get your brooms. Get to sweeping. Chop, chop. Remember to look at side chat, too. But let's continue. This is a thread from the Bell from Blair account on February 3rd, 2023. This is what led to my cancellation. In this clip, I'm talking to my audience and I'm telling my audience to make pit crew accounts. Throughout the stream, I tell people... Yeah, to, I'm not convinced of anything at all other than Keffels is kind of lashing out right now. Make a random one. Use a random generator. I even give instructions on how to randomly generate a pit crew and make a pit crew account. Bell from Blair clipped this stream and posted the 13 second clip where someone asked for an example of what to make with their pit crew generator. And I just said, I don't know, make a random one. The more diverse, the better. Um, make it like a butch black lesbian. And then I just trailed off. People took this to mean that I was telling people specifically to make black pick crew accounts, even though it was very obvious that I was telling people to make random pick crew accounts. Okay, that's so dishonest. That's so dishonest, isn't it? Obviously, the joke there is that you're telling people to make black ones. That's what you're making a joke there to your audience. There's Bell hate in the this. pool. Pool's closed, guys. There's HRT in the pool, guys. There's, yeah, there's too much estrogen in there. Okay. Pool's closed. As well, trigger warning <laughs> racism. Keffels is now encouraging her followers to go infiltrate tender queer Twitter to spread misinfo <laughs> and mistrust. By HRT for a stingray. Okay. Using pick HRT avatar. and stingrays. She suggested her followers pretend to be black. The end result being that LGBT, black, and indigenous people of color would then be viewed with suspicion as a result. And again, paused up. this is misinformation that was intentionally spread. In the stream itself, I told people to only communicate with my own community. In the same thread, Bell from Blair says, You can say it was only a suggestion, but you all know the end result of this will be that black LGBT people on Twitter will be viewed with suspicion as a result. 
One of Keffel's fans who followed her advice has quote tweeted the racism allegations and decided to pretend to be a victim of racism as the reason their account is brand new. This isn't a one person issue. Her fan base also is complicit. Why pull this on Black History Month though? In Black History Month? It's really important to note that there is absolutely no way that they can even verify that this was one of my fans, especially given the amount of misinformation that was currently taking place in this time period. Another Bell from Blair tweet on February 5th, Keffel streamed addressing what's happened. When the very valid criticism of it happened during Black History Month is brought up, her mod banned them mockingly with the reason it was during Black History Month. Also, take into consideration how much Black History Month is being emphasized throughout this entire thing. That's going to be important later. Oh, yeah? This is Bell from Blair replying to Eagle. Eagle tweeted out, Next, they are going to call everyone a retard and delete the PSYOP account. And Bell responded, kind of. This is Bell from Blair admitting that this entire thing was a PSYOP. This was posted at the bottom of the original thread. I find it absolutely wild how little it took to make Heffels a pariah. All this has proven is that deep down, even though people want to deny it, we all thirst for blood sports and drama. Give them bread and circuses. Keffel's Delenda Est, Twitter right now. Okay, what, so, <laughs> what are we doing here? What are we doing here? Uh, and Bell's making <laughs> Metica references here, based? Bell ended up making an entirely new thread about the PSYOP, which reads, Sadly, I have to leave Twitter to go look after my uncle, who was unfortunately <laughs> sick. He worked his whole life as a humble hat merchant, but he's recently <laughs> suffering with a neurological disorder. He calls me a chud bud. I have no idea what that means. Constantly. And I am worried. When this initially happened, I thought that Bell from Blair was a fan Sweet of Mr. Squad in chat. Mr. Squad in chat. is a content creator who at one time went by Internet Aristocrat and was one of the people who instigated Gamergate. His fans are called chud buds. Base? However, this wasn't a Mr. Medicare fan, and I'll show you why. Any, any squ sweet squad? Squ sweet squad? We in here? In the replies to this, Bell says, The whole retard discourse has been absolutely retarded to witness. I have no idea how it became such a big topic for discussion. As for the don't play Hogwarts Legacy thing, you know, well, what I really want to say is the return of the fucking retards. Finally, I will give my thoughts on why I'll never respect the online life. Wait. Leftist movement or take it seriously. Put forward with all the respect that a movement that tears itself. Hat, to much, sh Hat Merchant is a reference to the fact that. I can't even remember how to explain this to you. Um, <laughs> Jim Metica, Internet Aristocrat, uh, his new avatar of the last sort of like six or six to eight years, I think. Like the newer avatar he's been using, the Metica one, has a hat on that has four stars on it and he sells. Uh, merch that is this hat with four stars and loads of people fucking buy them so the joke is that he's a hat merchant so it, yeah that's that's okay listen you don't get it you don't get Threads it for that's the way it goes okay. deserves. 10 years of internet law okay or even longer metic has been around since on kiwi farms what, 90s, user punish nico posts the following Responding to another user who says I don't know because I'm not a woke retard and thus I'm not the good and thus, I'm not that good in speaking woke. Punish Nico writes, It's actually surprisingly easy, even if you're on the right. Just think about all the things you've laughed at over the past few years, thinking they're really angry over this shit. It's that simple. Internet blackface being one of them. Get into the right mindset and you can even speak their language. Retarded. You'll know what will make them angry. And at that point, you've got the power. That's how to easily cancel a leftist influencer. Just don't forget to include trigger warning at the start of the tweet, which the Bell from Blair account did. Maybe I'm just built different. Who knows? Being dual lingual in woke opens up quite a few possibilities for trolls, though. Now, I went back through all of my screenshots and I found this. This was a DM. The only DM I got from the Bell from Blair account. Does she know? And as you can see, it's Punish Nico. Okay. A and... frequent user from my Kiwi Farms thread.
Now, okay, uh, so okay, they post. So yeah, even if they do post on Kiwi Farms, who cares? Most people, I, I hate to tell you this, I hate to break the illusion for you guys. I'm just gonna drop the veil real quick. Most content creators have a sock on Kiwi Farms. They all would fucking do it. They all fucking do it. If they say they don't, they're probably lying. But that's just the way it goes. This is where the Beverly Isabel account comes in. Trigger warning racism. This is the first post that Izzy makes with her account. The YouTuber and streamer known as Keffels has a clear pattern of engaging in multiple racist and harmful behaviors, a thread, one of 16. <laughs> Based. The thread mostly rehashes the original cancellation thread from back in February. But this is the important part to take from these tweets. Yep, they, so they fucking hate you, and they are making Twitter threads about your worst moments and the things they think are the biggest criticisms of you. Okay, what what's the problem? That's based. Okay, guys. Guys. I appreciate... We, we just covered food shops for quite a while, okay? I'm all food shops now, alright? I'm all food shops now. I know food shops was at 250 viewers. Okay, I am sorry. I know you probably don't know that I've heard this five times already. I'm aware that she got a raid that was from Destiny to Loner Box to Stardust to Food Shops. It's okay. Okay, I'm aware. If you're thinking about telling me something about Food Shops, just assume that five other people have told me beforehand, okay? I'm just putting this out there now, all right? Thank you. Two different clips from Odyssey. And note the user. Can you do Sol a special love shout out for Alex from me? Okay. What, Rebel, what do you want me to say? What do you want? <laughs> okay, well, she's in chat, so I mean, I think you can just tell yourself now, right? Why haven't you responded to Forever's DMs? What the fuck is going on? This guy's been nothing but nothing but eager since he met you. <laughs> Wrong bitch whoops. That mantis high. <laughs> Mabs isn't a woman. Mabs isn't a woman. Blood Hyrax. As well. Eldred, jo Eldred Jonas is forever, or never, you know. Well, note the lack of views. Izzy tweeted out on September 5th, These clips and evidence were compiled from various sources and websites, as well as having been cross-referenced with the sources and archives to prevent inaccurate reporting. Thank you for coming to my TED Talk. This is what Kiwi Farms user Solid Hyrax says they are done archiving. Because Solid Hyrax is also a user in my Kiwi Farms thread. I'm tired of uploading his streams. This is dead naming me, of course. I have like three that I need to upload left, but I'm going to retire this chore. I hadn't planned on doing this for so long. That's it. No more. If anyone else wants to continue, be my guest. I'm done. And this is how Punish Nico responds. Well, shit. I found those archives invaluable, especially the February streams, where I could go back and clip Keffel saying stupid shit like, I'm going to Ireland in March on holiday. But I can see why you're throwing it in, especially when most of the streams seem to only get about five views. Uh, yeah, I'm aware that there are allegations that circled about Keffels being kicked out of the Communist Party for misappropriating money. Yes, I'm aware that is a that is an allegation that was made. Is lolcal overused when it's accurate? It's not. Yeah, it is used wrong a lot of the time. I 
you know, I was actually thinking about this today. I think Boogie's a low cow by the definition, typical, typical definition. Like he's a retard, like a fail son, right? Or something like that. But you can't really, he doesn't really get provoked into reactions by like A logs or anything. He just sort of does stupid shit. And that's why you need to remember the view count. Nico specifically mentions the low view count. I guess if I'm going to clip shit from Keffels, I better catch it live, as there's no way in hell I'm paying Keffels money to watch the VODs. And this is the very, very important part of this post. I'm actually using two of your archives, but to be revealed at a later date. Take note of exactly how many were posted by Beverly Isabel. Two. This is another post, August 15th, 2023. Just a bit, a, just a bit over a year after the swatting. Posting photos of my ex's- He's a felon in response to troll. Yeah, but that's a different issue though, because a, a guy came up to the front of his fucking house, right? A lot of people are getting acting in really retarded ways and that happens. So that's not a low cow thing. Cat in my Kiwi Farms thread. Responding to Horse Girl Supremacy, who was the person who doxed the hotel room that me and my ex were staying at before I went to Ireland. Honestly, pretty nice looking hotel. Shame there's going to be axe wound drippings all over after they leave. They have to fully close the room after, which is an incredibly transphobic and crude way of talking about my vagina. Just just for the what, normal what people that? who don't have a room after. Dri Honestly, pretty nice looking hotel. Shame there's going to be axe wound drippings all over after they leave. They uh, based? We have to fully close the room after, which is- Sorry, I, mean, I disavow, I disavow, I disavow, that's not funny. An incredibly transphobic and crude way of talking about my vagina. Just, just for the normal people who don't understand what- This is a real, this is a hot, this is a classic KF post, this Punish Nico. They fit in perfectly. Sex wound references. Punish Nico says, also, it's so over. I missed the one year anniversary of the cat bedsheet docs. The news articles all came out on the 17th, so I figured I had more time. Only good thing I can say is that our friend the cat. Well, we're not supposed to be shocked that Kiwi Farmers has transferred your post. I think the point she's trying to make is at this point, this person who was cancelling her on Twitter is a Kiwi Farmer who is transphobic on Kiwi Farm, not just that these posts exist, right? You know, I've, I've seen a million posts exactly like this. Cat is alive and well. Also, Keffel's next main channel video is going to be on Dreaded Jai, so that's going to be fun. The, the narrative is still forming, Marutzi, I believe. I don't, I, maybe we'll get there, maybe we won't. We'll see. To witness. She's saying that basically all the, all the cancellations are just a KF psyop, is the argument right now. Reignite that feud. Let's talk about who took the bait. I hope at this point in the stream, this has been eye-opening to all of you. I don't know how many people knew about any of this before I decided to put it out here. I lost over 50,000 followers. Oh no. And my mental health spiraled so bad I needed to go to rehab. Oh no. After large leftist content creators took the bait from a far right harassment website. Okay, just because it was bait doesn't mean it was wrong. And also, it's not their fault that you had a mental health spiral because people criticized you online. <laughs> am, I, am I off on anything here? Is there any other points to make that? I, I don't know. Like, this just seems re fucking retarded. Like, is this the, the link? Is that... A KF user managed to sigh up a few lefties into shitting on you. I mean, if their criticisms were valid under their ideology, then I don't understand what the fucking problem is. I cry about it, honestly. Used it to slander me, drag my name through the mud, 
attacking a disabled trans woman. It's not clicks. everyone else's fault. And whose fault is it exactly? Curious question. Maybe careful should ponder that one. And we're going to talk about it. I believe that may be called the consequences of your own actions. Okay, so I saw a new chatter say, I'm all for Kefels exposing bad people, but going through Kiwi farms. For the record, I have not gone on Kiwi farms in over a year. I have other people go in the thread for me. I have other people uh, give me things that I need to see. Exposing myself to that would be self-harm. Half of the point of a Kiwi farm- Guys, I haven't been on Kiwi farms in over 12 hours, over 11 hours. Okay, guys. thread is explicitly to hurt you. They constantly post things like, I know you're watching, you should kill yourself. Your life is nothing. You are meaningless. You need to die. Constantly suicide baiting you over and over again. That's why people like, I don't even want to go over the victims. Rest in peace, Nier. Rest in peace, Julie Terryberry. Rest in peace, Chloe Seckle. I'm going to need a second before I go into this again. Oh guys, that was a great time to remind you, with so many people here, please like the streams, subscribe to the channel, donate, buy a membership, gift a membership, buy a super chat, if you can. Thank you very much. Thank you. Yeah, we'll catch up on the Starless stuff at some point tonight. All right, I'm ready. John Tron, oh, Don Tron, John Tron, Don Tron, all good. Let's go. The first person who took the bait was Thought Slime on February 4th. Bell from Blair deleted the account, but when you click the link, it takes you to a dead Bell from Blair tweet. Thought Slime used their platform, boosting Kiwi Farms misinformation in order to attack me. Let's talk about so the clown nice. town who put out the video Keffels is a bigot explicitly quote tweeting a kiwi farms user and tagging twitch and twitch support trying to get me deplatformed from twitch it could, 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 let's talk about fd signifier <laughs> lifting the clip directly from a kiwi farm from a kiwi farms users odyssey account in order to slander me and spread misinformation these are some of the biggest leftist and progressive content creators on the internet using misinfo from the far right in order to attack wait so how is it misinfo because you felt like you were clip chimped okay uh, cry me a fucking river this is destiny shit <laughs> bro i'm sorry i just don't care you got clip chimped sucks to suck nah you know marginalized people the same clip was from the same clip was put into foreign man's video and there are so many other content creators i'm not even going to name who have done the same these are the people who held me up as some sort of champion because of how much abuse i was getting from the far right who then used the same information from the same people who wanted me dead in order to try and end my career no no i think it's fair i i, I don't like this Pretending that most people on Kiwi Farms aren't like kind of far right. Like, just looking through the posts, like you, know, you can say that it's, oh, it's all just trolling, it's all just jokes, but no, like there's specific jokes that seem to be really common. Okay, I, I've got no issue with that. I think far right people should be able to have their own fucking websites where they can talk shit about you know retarded trans people online. That's fine. I'm cool with that. But I, I, don't, I don't like the impression that. I don't like the uh, sort of dishonest framing that it's not a lot of far right people. It's not that it's only far right people at all. I mean, obviously, I do that. I'm not far right, but it, cer it certainly is pretty big. We looked at the critics of the righties. Um, no, but I believe, aren't there a bunch of splinter sites where a lot of the lefties went? Like, isn't there like onion farms and stuff? Here's Wop Goblin reposting misinfo from the Izzy account. And to, to continue with this further, Izzy can constantly be seen in WAP Goblin's replies, sending clips 
sending tweets. A lot of the information that gets used to attack me is sourced directly from users of Kiwi Farms. Okay, and yes, I hate this. I hate this. Yes, every time someone is making a hit piece or a documentary online, they're sourcing the information from Kiwi Farms. How many more times does this have to be said? How many more times does this have to be said? Yes, that is where people go to get information on internet personalities. Yes, yes, that is where everyone goes. There's no problem with that. That's how Turkey Tom makes every single one of his fucking videos. Like... Have I meant to give a fuck? We went over this already. The October 22nd Wop Goblin tweet. Where Wop Goblin breaks the news about Keffel's former partner being an abuse victim. The Wop Goblin wasn't the first person to tweet this out, and in fact, this was lifted from the thread made by the Izzy account on October 5th. The date of Nico's thread, October 5th, and Wop Goblin's thread was October 22nd. Wop Goblin was platforming fascists directly in an attempt to malign and hurt me. Yeah, her new friend Destiny has directed people to KF directly. Literally, her new best friend that she apologized to. I wonder why. So... I wonder, I wonder why they wanted to apologize to each other so bad. Why they wanted to make up so bad. What sort of incentive could have, could have been in place to make these people who thought they were, each other were like, you know, 100k scammers from vulnerable communities who groom children with DIY, DIY HRT and Catboy Discords and lied about swatting events. And, and the other one was a harasser, stochastic terrorist who was trying to kill you by directing people to a website and posting memes from a website that was... That was uh, making attempts on your life. I wonder what incentive could have possibly made these people put away their differences. <laughs> now we're onto the now we're onto the stuff with Xander Hall. All of the stuff. Oh, this is how what happened went down. Xander Hall quote tweeted some random account that says nothing cannot reassure you that you're right. You have deep-seated issues with women since your mommy and ex ruined the gender for you. You will always be right internally, regardless of facts. Xander Hall responds, Man, Keffel's fans are something else. Really glad I burned the bridge with such a toxic community. Yeah. Uh, like, yeah, she's saying all these people have Kiwi Farms links. Best friends with Destiny now. Who's like best friends with Turkey Tom now. Who hosted a conversation between Destiny and Noel where Destiny was toying with the idea of financially supporting Kiwi Farms. <laughs> You're gonna, you're gonna say other people have KF links. You're gonna say other people, Keffels. You're in bed with Kiwi Farms just as much as any of these people, even more so, in fact, even because these people are just getting like bits and pieces out of Twitter threads that have sourced it from Kiwi Farms. You're literally like, you're, you're, you're in bed with like some of the biggest advocates for Kiwi Farms. I remember when Kuba was a two around you. Look at him now. Thank you forever. Day ones. Day ones, no. Okay. To which President Sunday's response, she implied you were an incel on stream earlier. And we can see Izzy, of course. If you go through the replies of Izzy and you look at every drama that I have ever been in, since Izzy made that account, she is there, instigating it, trying to get the left to fight each other for her own entertainment. She doesn't do it for she doesn't do it for anything else other than attempting to sow disunity, attempting to make fights worse, to make it so we won't talk to each other, to make it so we won't work together. Izzy responded to President Sundays, I took it as being misogynist since it was implying he had a problem with women in general. Zan should probably look into what she did to her ex-fiance though, since she's making this so personal. And there was a deleted post here. I have no idea what Izzy said. I'll call them Sundays. This is, for the record, this is not President Sunday. That is a completely different person. Sundays replies, wait, what the fuck did Keffels do to her ex? And this ended up sparking this repost. Xander Hall reposting Sundays, who said, I mean, I don't support her because her ex came out with claims of abuse and Keffels avoided mentioning the allegations at all and let her diehard fans bully her ex into silence. But that's a different story. This post. It's just meant to be, a, it's, it's, the Wiggler is Keffels. 
it's Keffel's uh, emote thing. She uses it. It's a profile on YouTube, and this is a me version of it. Celebrate all our, our support for Keffel's, because we love Keffel's here, guys, right? We're all Keffers here. I'm a dirty fucking Keffer. I know that. Forced me to have to recount to thousands of people the horrific abuse that I went through. Though I do have to give Sunday's credit. Sunday's apologized after I came out with all of this. Chief Keffers Sunday said, chat. yeah, I'm going to come out and say it. I was incredibly irresponsible to stick my nose in this at all. The evidence I was sent looked real enough, and it's clear that Althea is the abuser here, and I was lied to. That doesn't alleviate the blame for me at all, though, and I apologize. To which Izzy responds, she still hasn't provided any evidence, though. Where's the evidence she told her she was ashamed to mention to her co-workers she was on disability? And as an aside here, in the context of abuse, the majority of these things don't happen online. There's not receipts for the things that happen interpersonally. At best, you have testimonies from people who know the people involved. No, there, there often is, because people text about things and people talk to their friends. There often is receipts. Like, I could show you messages of me bitching to my friends about everything that's fucking happened in every relationship. Right? Anytime I fucking even start talking to a girl. Going, Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> I'm gonna kill a woman. That's a joke. That's comedy. That's, a co that's comedy. That's a bit. I'm not actually making threats. Thank you, YouTube. But, but yeah, like, the, the idea that there's never any receipt, no. Come on, Kevin. If these were big life events you'd ever seen. And maybe text messages, in rare cases, videos. But you can clearly see that even after all of this has happened, Izzy is still there trying to spark, trying to create this division, spreading misinformation. And so many people fell for this. They fell for this in February, and they fell for this now. Sundays, rep Sundays responded, hey, so she presented evidence, and Izzy responds, I mean, sure, some. In this case, oh, it on, seems to have been point. a mutually abusive relationship then. It seems to have been a mutually abusive relationship then, and Sundays responds, fuck you. And Sundays, I accept your apology. Thank you for, thank you for not instigating. Thank you for realizing that you were fed misinformation. I really wish that Xander Hall did the same thing, but Xander Hall and Xander Hall's editor have been radio silent for the past two days. And I've had time to think about all of this, and I'm even more mad. Hmm. Do we think so? Do we reckon? Do, do we reckon? Do we reckon? Chad got a DM from from the chair, the cherry bread and Zanderhall side, or from the Keffel side? And do you think there's a big nuke coming from the Zanderhall side? I would love to see Zanderhall trying to do a nuke on Keffels. Oh man, would we? Would we be switching sides? Would we be Zanderholics? Do we reckon? Listen, I just fucked up my speech quickly, okay? Chill, chill. It made it sound like it was from Zan's side. Yeah, I thought so. I thought so. Oh, I'm sorry, yep. Yep. We reckon, Kyle, I'm sorry. Uh, I, I'm, I don't mean team... We're not team Keffels anyway, fucking... This is awful. I mean, are we going to like Xanderhall for a bit? Am I going to be championing, championing Xanderhall if he goes after Keffels properly? Whew. Bad. Curious. I want to show you all a clip. I'm going to let it play out in its entirety with no commentary. This is Xanderhall attempting to lie in a conversation with his friend about another one of his friends being a Kiwi Farms user. Went down. It's just like the fact that I... I'm not to, like, like that, talking with down. It's just like the fact that I have this not, that I do means a lot. Like it, I see those yeah. extensions of myself. And, and as, as well, like there's, there's not even like the, uh, the the problem of like oh they, uh, well, you heard it here first. Sanders said his friends are just ordinary from his audience. For context, guys, Sanders' main friend group is actually my friend group, and no one knew who the fuck he was. Right? They, they all just treat him like a normal guy. Sometimes they remember and, I'm famous because they like semi-famous, whatever you want to call it, because they see my personality, celeb, yeah. and they're like, what the fuck? Oh yeah, it's really God. funny. I remember the other day. Um, do you want to use an example? Because I don't want to talk about what we mentioned. Oh no, you can mention all of them. They're going to be mentioned by me at one point or another. <laughs> okay, so I believe it was this is the person who really doesn't like getting mentioned publicly. You know who I'm talking about? Yeah. Oh, dude, Maddie can suck it up. She's fine. Okay, okay. I, I just know she's gonna be bad. She's just, like, be done. No, she's not gonna be mad. She's not gonna okay. be that much. Because you're not attaching an to her. The other day, Maddie saw, like, a post on Reddit that, like, mentioned me in, like, a list no, no, no. of... Wait, who is Maddie? Is... is there any chance this is... Okay. It was on, it was on Kiwi Farms, remember? Oh, it was on Kiwi Farms. Yeah, so, for those that don't know, Maddie's, like, very progressive and also uses Kiwi Farms. It's just, like, she, she's, like, sort of... 
a browser of it. She doesn't post there ever, but yeah, she, she looks at it. And she mostly stuff like, yeah, she looks like mostly like animal abusers, like that one lady that I covered. I forget what her name is. Here from the still up. Yeah, it's still up. It's just really hard to access. Um, and it's also very insecure now because Cloudflare dropped them. And that's like the best like proxy. So uh, that's what I'm thinking. Is it Maddie Cats? Because she is definitely a Kiwi Fox type, right? Oh, thank you for the 10 bucks out wall too. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Freeman, I'm sorry this all happened to you. It's only 10 bucks, but please buy a small thing that makes you happy on behalf of Ian Crone via Capitals. Thank you, thank you. Uh, I wonder, maybe I'll, uh, maybe I'll ask. Maybe I'll ask service online. Um, that's thanks to Keffles, which is actually, you know, I'd say pretty based, because Kiwi Farms does some bad shit, but they also do some good shit. I, I, I do wish that, like, the group of people on Kiwi Farms that are, like, going after people who like blench and chillas, and the people who are just transphobic weirdos that are, like, just, like, harassing I, I think that, are, I think yeah. that a lot of the people who gather on Kiwi Farms are, uh, even they're bad, someone bad, they tend to be Queen not great people themselves, so they're trying to justify who they are. By, you know, it's like you. pedo hunters who, like, either it's actually cases or just, it's clear they're not chasing anything they care about, they're chasing because they want to That's a clip. On behalf of Ian Crone via Keffles. Xander Hall was, Xander Hall lied. Xander Hall lied and said Reddit instead of Kiwi Farms. And Ethan had to correct him. And then he ended up doubling down and saying, yeah, Kiwi Farms is bad stuff. But also, they do some good stuff. And now, I have absolutely no trust in him. Because he was constantly hinting that some reckoning was coming to me. And that it was forbidden knowledge. I'm not oh yeah. He also did the same thing to my friend, Euphoria Tori. And I have to ask. Where does this forbidden knowledge come from? This knowledge that he can't talk about where it's from. Now, I'm not saying that it's coming from Kiwi Farms. I'm just saying that we caught him in the act of lying about being friends with Kiwi Farms users who are feeding him information. Oh, yeah, I was told about this. Apparently, Euphoria Tori, who is also a piece of shit, for reasons that I can't even say because forbidden knowledge. Um, you know how it is. So, this Euphoria Tori, this is the person who did the fundraiser for the on online funeral of the dead Saudi trans girl, Eden, right? That's who your foratory is, isn't it? And she like raised a bunch of money for for like a memorial, but it was just like a Discord memorial, I think. Right? Am I am I crazy? Am I tripping? Yeah, that's correct. Okay. I believe forever has a uh has a phrase for for women at your foratory. I can't remember what it is, uh Diogus Demueres or whatever. El Ogus Demueres. What is it? I can't remember. Ah, oh, there we go. Los Mueres de Ogros. <laughs> okay, there we go. Keffels, to be fair, he said the same thing about Sasha, about forbidden knowledge. How do we know whether or not he got that information about Sasha from Kiwi Farms? Using his logic, it was good that Kiwi Farms did what they did in that circumstance. We don't know, and I don't trust him. It's beautiful he can... trans woman in English, roughly. Do whatever he wants with his life and with his platform, but I don't trust him, and at the very least, I deserve an apology. Quite frankly, I think I deserve an apology from FD Signifier. I deserve an apology from Foreign. I deserve an apology from Thoughtslime. I deserve an apology from every single leftist creator who ended up spreading far-right misinformation in order to slander me. I have been trying to clear my name constantly for over a year. That's why I also included the stuff with Hoots. The fact that Hoots, who said what she said about me, was willing to own up to- Freeman has an entire wing of his mind palace <laughs> dedicated to internet trans law. <laughs> It's sadly true. It's sadly true. I know way too much. Okay, I literally, I... This is how bad it is. I mentioned an obscure Twitter trans drama to Sleepy the other day. And, and Sleepy had no idea what I meant and I, until I started explaining it more. And then was like, oh, there's no screenshots of it anywhere. No one on the farms. It's the most insane thing ever. It's that Chloe Bob posting person who ran the DIY HRT site that Keffel sponsored posted on Twitter one day that she had run out of Adderall and then synthesized meth in her bathtub using her own blood as part of it. And it was like this shoddy, bloody meth. This is like five years ago. And I just remember this. Like four years ago or something. <laughs> why, I, why I remember it? Why it was even in my Twitter algo? Who knows?
Like, these were real tweets. She posted like these these shot like these shards of. I'm telling you, dude. This 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 happened. I can't, I don't know what the exact. Maybe it wasn't meth. I can't remember. It was something. She made some kind of stimulant to replace her Adderall, and it, it was with her blood. And you saw the finished product. She posted pictures of the whole shit. She, it was pictures all the way, the whole thing. She wrote down the whole process. She was like gloating about it. It's the same. It's the bathtub HRT. It's the same person. She made something, I'm telling you. This was a whole Twitter thread, it was a whole thing. There's no, you can't do a deep dive, it's scrubbed. It's totally scrubbed, I'm telling you. I've tried, I've literally tried to find this before. There's like one tweet I think you can find about it. What? If you like super search for it, there's like other people talking about it, but you can't actually find the original tweets. <laughs> was one of the biggest acts of compassion that I have seen in the leftist YouTuber space. I really appreciate that from her. I just hope that other people can be the bigger person as well. Someone said, didn't Kefels mention their friends who feed her Kiwi Farms info like 15 minutes ago? Yes, I have people who monitor my thread on Kiwi Farms to let me know if I get doxxed or if I've been hacked or if there's other information that I need to know about myself because they put me at risk. It's not, it's not just making meth out of your blood, obviously. It's, it's like she, the, what, what she said was something about like... Blood has some functional agent in it that does something. I don't know. But it obviously wasn't, there was other ingredients. It wasn't just making, it wasn't, it wasn't doing an alchemy circle and Edward Elricking blood into meth. That's not. <laughs> or put the people I love and care about at risk. They're not just giving me random info from everywhere on the site. It's specifically about my thread. The problem that I have is when people use information from this website in their content. I don't think anyone who calls themselves a progressive or a leftist can ever, ever morally get away with doing that. It's disgusting. The fact that there are clips from Kiwi Farms users in FD Signifier videos and Foreign Man videos, the fact that ThoughtSlime was signal boosting Kiwi Farms misinformation, that all of this happened and they have gotten away with it and used it to attack people on the ice? Left. What's known as ice? It's disgusting. We just say she froze her blood. There's, there's more that I could easily go over. I, there were things I wanted to include in all of this, but I did not want to go back to the site and look it over. And I don't want to make any sort of allegations against any other creators unless I put all the evidence oh, forward. Oh, first. oh, oh, ice is meth. Okay. The takeaway, there's a few takeaways from the situation. Never accept things at face value. Realize that there are bad actors on the internet who are trying to use you, trying to manipulate you for their own gain. And don't signal boost. Un don't signal boost unsubstantiated claims against people to win arguments online always take the time to do the research and to look into it oh yeah kefels would never do that kefels would never do that would she always ask for sources that's why when i do streams like this i put everything in front of the people who watch you, you should never just don't. believe what people are saying at face value ask for receipts ask Bro, for sources this is so make dishonest sure that you aren't being lied to because god knows so many people are trying to lie to you If anyone has any questions for me now, um, I've gone over everything that I wanted to go over today. Listen, I, I don't have, there's no, there are no screenshots of the blood meth tweets. There's no screenshots of it. I'm telling you, you can find people, if you search for it, if you search for, what was it? Her name's Chloe. It was at Bob, Bob posting was her at, at Bob posting. You can find people talk about it, but you will never find the tweets. Um, I've tried looking. I've tried looking on KF. It's not on there. Only people around at the time can attest to this okay sleepy remembers these tweets i'm sure there are other trans people you can find who remember these tweets i don't know why i remember them i am not a trans person just to be clear check discord Okay, so yeah, here is a tweet. I assume this is a reply. This is a reply to a deleted tweet. And, and this is someone saying, this is someone replying. So the, 
This person ran like a, a voice training Discord as well, the Chloe Bob posting person. They used to run a voice training Discord. And so the, this person's saying here, Blood Meth, what are you talking about? Come on, let's go make fun of Voice Pitch Analyzer. So that's, that's the reference being made here. Yeah, what tips are saying? Entire careers have been ruined based on lives. We need to be better than that. We need to rise above that. Yeah, it's from 2021. This isn't just about Xander Hall. This is about so many people. Like, why is Xander Hall getting the most shit? Dots line should get just as much shit. FT Signifier should get just as much shit. All of the people that I have mentioned who have boosted this should get just as much shit, if not more, than Xander Hall because they have much bigger platforms and they are held to less of an account for the things that they have done. How long have I been aware of Izzy? Since February. But no one would listen to me. It took me almost a year to gain back faith in people. It took me being willing to say I fucked up because I did fuck up. I said the things that I. Yeah, Bob posting totally vanished from the internet. I'm pretty sure. Why was it again? Was it because of the Destiny manifesto? I think it was. I said in those clips I fucked up, but it was the information where it was coming from. The people on Kiwi Farms wanted the left to pick it up, and FD Signifier, Thought Slime, Kira Chats as well. Many, many leftist creators picked this up and ran with it and became useful idiots for the far right. And I wanted to put all this out because I wanted, I wanted to redeem myself. This wasn't fair. I, I don't know. I can't tell. If they, I don't think, in my personal opinion, I don't think that they were doing it on purpose. I think that the reason they were picking this stuff up was legitimately because they were lazy and it was easy to do. And people are so quick to jump on this shit. People, people already had a sour taste in their mouth about me. So any allegation that was put out at that time was believed at face value. Since the time back in February, I've been I went to rehab. I started therapy. I've been completely sober. I've been working to build up the good faith that I've had with the community that I lost in that time period. And putting all of this out here, this is about accountability. This is about transparency, about the stuff that I was dealing with, that I knew I was dealing with, that I didn't have the words to even put forward. <laughs> good catch, Maeve. I saw um, the Bad Empanada thing, and um, I couldn't grab it from the site, but Bad Empanada also spread Kiwi Farms misinformation about me. The lie that I didn't go to rehab, Bad Empanada propagated that, originated from the Punish Nico account, and Bad Empanada picked it up after it made its way through Twitter. Beautiful okay, made in chat, drove me to the... So, so he picked stuff up from Twitter. Okay, who cares? Who cares? Who cares? Who cares? So you're saying there's two levels removed from Kiwi Farms. Yeah, no shit. Who cares? This has just been stuff getting spread around the internet. Oh, I hate this. I hate this. I hate this poisoning the well by just saying that... Every piece, of, any piece of information that comes from Kiwi Farms is tainted. It's the same bullshit that Brenner Wu play, played for years, saying anytime someone asks about, you know, inconsistencies on in a story or about being trans and shit like that, Kiwi Farms isn't a reliable source. Kiwi Farms isn't a reliable source. Again, it's fucking so rancid just dismissing it based on the source like this. When it's just information that's getting spread around, there's clips there, there's sources. No, I haven't seen Andrew Olsen's stream. A rehab facility picked me up when I was ready to leave rehab. There are people who can easily verify that I went to rehab. This is what I meant by not wanting to talk about it. Yeah, like a reef in chat visited me at the rehab facility in Toronto. When I, when I left rehab, I had a party and Maeve was there. A reef was there. Velvet was there. Camel Spider was there. Halfway Collector was there. Like so many of- Oh yeah, sorry. People have just been linking more, more tweets. Ryzek's been linking a couple of tweets about the blood meth. Just so you can see, this is something that goes around, okay? Got myself a pocket Bob posting, blood meth not included. So Bob posting used to use like a little anime girl in a cow outfit as a profile picture. Why do I know this? Why do I remember this? Why do I remember this? Vivant's blood meth operation spotted all over the floor. So yeah. The people who are close to me flew, th flew in from multiple countries. To make sure that I was okay. And it meant a lot to me. I have very good friends. But the bad empanada thing was an example of me not wanting to say that without bringing up the prerequisite sources. So I guess when I do the next stream, I'll put it all together because I'm sure he's going to deny it. And then if I bring it up, he's going to deflect because he doesn't actually give a shit about the truth. I, I don't care. He's still posting made up stuff like, it, it doesn't matter. He's, he's, he's just, he somehow made me being sexually assaulted into, into him, into being about him. Like, why does, why does he matter? He's, he just feeds on attention. He's kind of, 
Yeah, he, he said that all of my fans are spiritually Zionist. Actually, I think I put that in the announcements channel, didn't I? I did. Keffels and her fans are spiritually Zionists. They just make shit up and then get angry if you don't take their word for it after they've been proven lying 1,000 times consecutively. That's true. That's true. Like, what does that even mean? Like, I'm not very charitable, but I'm pretty sure- I mean, I don't know about the spiritually Zionist bit, but I mean, what he, the shit he's spitting about Keffels there is true. He just meant Jews here? Because the context here was about sexual assault. It wasn't about Israel-Palestine. So it really does feel like he just used Zionist as a fill-in word for Jews? What? No, no, he's specifically talking about Zionists, like, bit denying history, right? No, no, he's not just talking about Jews. Bro, this is just a disgusting fucking stream. I mean, yeah, no, but people are dragging me for that one. But this is, like, another thing. The far right are using a lot of people on the left as useful idiots. Because they do the same thing, where they swap out the word uh, Jew for Zionist, so they can get away with being anti-Semitic. But he's and not talking about issue. Jews, he's not talking about, he is talking about, this is like, this is actually about Zionists. Far right, infiltrating leftist organizations and leftist protests in order to try and recruit people. Like, I don't think it was, um, that's why I don't trust, yeah, no, the Twitter threads are fucked. Like, I, I'm all for the, yeah, a lot of people switch out Zionist and Jew to sound less bad. I, I, I agree. I, I 100% agree. That was that was about Zionists. He was making a criticism. He the the joke he was making was that Zionists will will make up historical events or lie about historical events and then keep saying it's true a thousand times over and then whatever whatever it was he said. That's that is a point he's making about Zionists and Kefels Kefels fans. A point of comparison he's drawing. He's not talking about Jews. He's not. <laughs> oh man, is there anything I is there anything people would like addressed while I'm still talking about all this? I'll be honest, the last week has been fucking intense. Like, I don't, I, I have, these have been like the hardest streams I've ever had to do. What did I have for dinner? I didn't have dinner. I, I, I woke up and I have been working on the preparation for the stream since I woke up. And then, oh, I went oh no dinner for Kefels. I ate breakfast and that was it. Oh, I wasn't doing good self care. Yeah, I wasn't taking care of myself very well. Oh, but this was really important to me. What's the people come feature? Oh, what, what? What's this? Me EP, me hungry. The online no left sleep, will claim no Bosch is sexist while well, then he's dying. Ha ha ha, this is the dumbest bitch alive. Yeah, if you woke up at 1pm, let's be real, bro. Don't, okay, let's not, because I woke up at like 8pm, okay? So, let's take it easy, alright? Yeah, and it's, it is really funny that like, they, they claim they'll care about misogyny, but then they'll just be misogynist. They'll claim I'm ableist. When, here was another response uh, to that same thing, by the way. Keffels loves making shit up as much as she loves pills. Like, my addiction has nothing to do. Like, being a recovering drug addict has absolutely nothing to do with any of this. And when you make shots at people who are recovering drug addicts, you're basically signaling to everyone in your life struggling with addiction that they are irredeemable. That no matter what they do, that <laughs> Oh man, this is just sickening. That is going to be lingering over them for the rest of their lives. You're being a piece of shit when you do stuff like that. So much guilt tripping, it's insane. Uh, is there more behind- I mean, yeah, there's always more stuff, but I covered- I, I covered like everything that I need to. The only thing that I could have changed in the scope is how many people boosted Bell from Blair. You know, how many people have spread Kiwi Farms misinfo? Because it was a lot of people. I ha I, there are more leftists. Um, actually, if, if I try and lay out all the leftist creators I know, there are more that spread it than less. Are addicts in a press class? What the fuck kind of question is that? Witnessing in real time how Keffel's gaslights partners. <laughs> Listen, I don't necessarily agree. But you have a point. Fucking go outside instead of reading books about, about fucking... What the fuck kind of question is that? What the fuck do you mean are addicts in a... The fuck? I don't even know what that question means. Define oppressed class. What is an oppressed class? That's the first thing. Instead of just saying, is X an oppressed class? <laughs> that's Bruno Mars with K, basically. That's, that's basically what was just said. God. Actually, yeah, Contra and Lindsay Ellis. Oh, no, no, no. Um, I don't like Contra. Contra has also done me wrong. I don't like her. To be honest, she's kind of a fucking snake. Contra points. Is that going to play well? Is the random shots across the bow at Contra points going to play well? I'll just, like, I'll, I'll be real. Okay, can you tell us if Philosophy Chew is a rapist now, please? Whether he's skinwalking Contra. I know people are gonna like be unappreciative. I'll show you why. 
like maybe interpersonally she's nice but this is from a uh, contrapoint subreddit february 7th after the clip from the bell from blair account was going around contrapoints tweeted and deleted this keffels is the best thing that ever happened to me i'm so off the hook well people <laughs> that's a base tweet what <laughs> that's a funny tweet This is reminding me why I, th I thought Contraports were car-based. We're sending so much vitriol towards me af from a Kiwi Farms user spreading misinformation. That is how she reacted to it. <laughs> Kiwi Farms, Kiwi Farms, Kiwi, Kiwi Farms everywhere. Kiwi Farms in my walls. Kiwi Farms, Kiwi Farms. <laughs> Surely Contraports is allying with Kiwi Farms. That makes so much sense. At least Abigail Thorne, Philosophy Tube, actually reached out to me and wished me well on my recovery. <laughs> Wait, no! <laughs> yeah, ContraPoints is a really shitty person, but you know her alleged rapist skinwalker is actually really based. <laughs> let's say this, let's listen to this. I don't like Con Contra has also done me wrong. I don't like her. To be honest, she's kind of a fucking snake. I'll just like, draw, I'll, I'll be real. I know people are gonna like, be unappreciative, I'll show you why. Like, maybe interpersonally she's nice. There are allegations and schizo theories that float around that basically there's a bunch of different vague uh, assertions about, you know, uh, uh, there's, there's like vague Patreon posts and stuff that Contra's made that allude to a relationship with another YouTuber another big youtuber who sexually assaulted her and then uh did something to sort of like stalk and harass her in a narcissistic way and basically people line up some timelines and some unfollows on twitter and some changes in in content and it basically the theory is that philosophy tube uh sexually assaulted contrapoints and then essentially stole her identity and transed as like a schizophrenic form of like manipulation harassment uh crusade so and like there's a bunch of weird similarities that people point out yeah no evidence no hard evidence but it's it's a theory that floats around well, there's just no hard evidence i'm not saying it's outlandish i i personally have some you know i feel i feel that it, that it may be true i feel that it may be true but there's no like hard evidence, okay? And not, neither have said anything. But this is from a uh, ContraPoint subreddit. February 7th, after the clip from the Bell from Blair account was going around, ContraPoints tweeted and deleted this. Keffels is the best thing that ever happened to me. I'm so off the hook. Well, people were sending so much vitriol towards me af from a Kiwi Farms user spreading misinformation. That is how she reacted to it. At least Abigail Thorne, Philosophy Tube, actually reached out to me and wished me well on my recovery. But then, the large trans YouTuber who's known for being a recovering drug. Okay. <laughs> I feel even more confident in the things I just said. That's all I'll say to you guys. I feel I, my confidence has been increased a little bit. That's all I'll say. Okay. Addict. Didn't say a single fucking thing. So yeah, I think she's a piece of shit. I don't like her. Like, there's a lot of people who won't publicly associate with me who interpersonally they're fine, and that's cool. I get it. I understand how far right people spreading misinformation has tainted my reputation, but I expected more from Natalie. But it's not it's nothing it's nothing conclusive, guys. Don't get overexcited. I just got you know, gossip. It's gossip. More gossip. We win. She let me down. And she's so big she can't fail, and she doesn't have to even think about it. That's been one of the that's been one of the most frustrating things with all of this, with these big creators slandering me, is that they have such a large platform that none of them have to care. Like, um, hold on. Here's what FD Signifier had to say on Twitter, even though FD Signifier was spreading far-right misinfo about me. Well, I have to log on because I'm blocked. Okay, I'll give her the benefit of the doubt. She owes me an apology, though. And then I'll move on. Keffels is trending on my feed. Keffels has 42k subs and 13k tweets about her. Listen, guys, I'm not, I'm not shitting on believers, okay? I'm just saying, I'm not gonna come on stream and confidently Really full throatedly assert something for which there is no hard evidence, okay? That's just a not a good look. That's the reality. Oh wait, I just realized I have to log into a burner account because I can't see the whole thread. 
But I want to show you how fucking ghoulish these people are. Because remember, FT Signifier is boosting Kiwi Farms accounts to slander me. I really want everyone to take a moment and consider the totality of what that means and how this works. I don't want to minimize the capacity for harm that happens when Keppels and similar figures do harmful shit, or even just troll for attention. And also remember that during this period, I was in active addiction and it was just before I went to rehab. But I do think it's incongruent with the reality of her actual influence in the space. And what he's basically saying here is that I don't have enough I don't have enough subscribers for my opinion to matter because this isn't about politics. This is about popularity. Welcome fuddling it. Let alone the fact this is very clearly a branding and marketing strategy at this point. But if you really want to stop Keffels and other bad actors who have some influence in the space, I guarantee you that 13k tweets about Soul Bunny and her content are a better way to do it. Soul Bunny also used clips directly taken from Kiwi Farms users in order to slander me. Turb has also retweeted clips from Kiwi. So guys, now is a great time to remind you. Please like, subscribe, donate, buy a super chat. Buy a membership, gift a membership if you can. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Farms users, in order to slander me. I don't know the rest of the people here, but here's how this thread goes. As I said before, people have to consent to being held accountable. They have to agree to the need for change. If they don't, you're wasting your time and energy. And I'll give him credit where credit is due. This is before I went to rehab. This is before I put a lot of work into myself. But the fact that he went about this this way was really shitty. If you want change in this space, you could do it by building. Okay, I'll just say, look, guys, the specific, I'll just say, I, I received gossip that indicates that that there may be weight to the specific claim of philosophy tube touching contra's boob that is what i know it's, it's literally just gossip though but there is more weight to that okay that is that is a part of the claim this so theory that is the specific thing there you go so we can stop talking about it now okay <clears throat> but it, it's not there's nothing too like it is literally gossip it's literally just gossip it is just this person said something about this to this person that's it Building around these people by developing communities and platforms bigger and apart from folks that don't want to get with the program. Oh, I see gay fashion in the replies. I forgot, this has been a while. I was trending with 13k tweets because I was outed as a drug addict against my will. That's why there were 13k tweets about me. And FD Signifier's response to that was to say, why, why is this nobody getting so much attention? The boob thing is on the original image compilation. Yes, that is part of the original claim. That is the sexual assault that is, uh, that is mentioned. So I, I hope that can help some, I hope that can help my longtime viewers understand why I am so resentful of so many people on the left. Like, I have been slandered, I have been maligned, and I've never had an opportunity until now to show all of this, how this played out, why this happened, and it has been such a struggle for me to build back what I had. So thank you for that. Bing Shilling, nothing happened? Oh, I see Wop Goblin has responded. Um, I've stayed away from talking about Keppels, but today she made an entire stream going through a PowerPoint slideshow attempting to indirectly connect all her detractors, including me, to Kiwi Farms in an attempt to save her career. You literally retweeted this account. I actually have receipts. <laughs> this is actually funny. Yeah, well, I mean... That's true. That is what she's doing, isn't it? Didn't this Wab Goblin just... Just can't own? <laughs> it's, it's, it's so insane! But that's not insane, that's true. That's true. They're right. <laughs> What's so insane about that? Why are you laughing? This is so forced. All my haters are ontologically stupid. How are they stupid? What's what's wrong about saying this? Saying that I'm mentally unwell. You are. Like, I don't even want to go for, like, weaponizing it poll, but I show receipts on how you were boosting far-right misinformation and your responses to call me mentally unwell. You are. P okay. Okay, I'll be good. I'll be, I'll be the best faith uh, Andy I've ever been. People were saying, Keffels, how is that? Kufel, how is that? Uh, how is that bad faith? And um, okay, right here, Wop Goblin retweeting the Kiwi Farms user. Okay, and <laughs> you retweeted someone who's not outwardly a Kiwi Farms user. It's not like it says. Izzy on Kiwi Farms in their fucking name. It's a fucking retweet. They probably just saw it. What? This is your fucking evidence? The Kiwi Farms user admitting to sending information to Wobgoblin.
And? Wop Goblin lifting a thread from a Kiwi Farms user. And, like, this is... Yeah, they're repeating information that's on Twitter. Yes, 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 yes. She's been it's been posted on Twitter, and they're, they're then using it, yes. Even if they were taking it from Kiwi Farms, everyone takes stuff from Kiwi Farms, so it's not a massive issue. But for the argument that she's making, that they are you know, tied to Kiwi Farms or, or boosting Kiwi Farms information, it's, it's, it's just not, you're not proving that. Look, this is, this, she's saying she lifted this, this thread from this Izzy person. This thread from this Izzy person has 19k impressions. It says 19k impressions. This is, this is not like a, it's not like one person saw it and they sent it over to this other account. <laughs> and like, yeah, again, Kefalls has definitely retweeted Q Farm stuff 100%. There's no way you haven't. Um, Destiny has directed people to Kiwi Farms and they're all totally good now. It was like, you know, all the, all the points I made earlier. I made all these points earlier. All the Josh Moon collaboration, Turkey Tom collaboration. They, they all get stuff from Kiwi Farms or run Kiwi Farms in one case. It's just an insane argument for Kefalls to even think of fucking making, given the people she hangs around with, which is fine. Listen, I think Kiwi Farms has a right to exist, okay? I don't care if people associate with it. But Keffles <laughs> is a different issue. Like, I put, I put all the receipts out there. Yeah, no, that is Darvo shit too. Like, tell it's all Darvo. It's all Darvo. It's all Darvo. Responding to the s responding to facts to sources, which is calling your detractors mentally unwell. That's in. That's actually fucked. That is gaslighting. That is abuser behavior. No, it's internet shit talking. You sped. Holy fuck! Wait, are you serious? Joshua Moon just responded to fucking WAP. Am I going insane? Is this uh uh uh, uh wash wound? Wash wound? Real life? Wash wound? H hold on, hold on a second. Wow. Goblin has me blocked on every account, and I'm trying to figure out how to even bring it up. Um, this is Joshua Moon, the owner of Kiwi Farms, in WAP Goblin's reply. I can promise. Wait. Oh my God, Josh Moon just replied to WAP Goblin. What does Josh Moon say? I can promise you that I do not endorse anyone called WAP Goblin, and I resent the association. This is so... This is embarrassing. How old is Keffles not feel embarrassed doing this? Stylo, this has been the whole stream. This has been this whole stream, bro. What? <laughs> it's, it's, it's chill, guys. It's chill. Joshua Moon is saying that he's not associated with Waff Goblin. The whole fucking squad's here. This is the funniest shit I've ever seen. Holy. Wop. Wop Goblin, I know you're hate watching still. Please retweet Joshua Moon uh, to prove that you are not associated with it, okay? You have the opportunity here to do the funniest thing imaginable. <laughs> oh, Moon might be watching too. I'm, whatever. I I can't I can't stop him. He can do what he wants. Wait, did I see that Zan debunked it? What is he? Is are people already responding to this fucking stream? Holy sh! Show me. Links or it's not real. Would I like another live Kiwi Farms reaction? That's very very funny. Yes yes please. Keemstar just found about my last stream half an hour ago and was tweeting about it. Oh my god, dude! And? <laughs> Sent on si signal? Okay, hold on. This is- this shit's so fucking funny. I didn't think that this is how the stream would go afterwards. Wait, so... 
Wait, 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 wait. So this is the end of burning what you've done? You're done with like the mo the bulk of your evidence? That was it? Isn't okay. Oh my god! Punish Nico! Holy shit! Oh my god! Okay, this is... This is fucking awesome! Hold on, you're gonna love this. You're gonna love this, chat. We have new developments happening over at Kiwi Farms. Keffel... So a user in my thread said Keffel's won and tagged Nico and said Punish Nico might as well create a red account to get off of faggot. <laughs> Why are you just showing Kiwi Farms posts of people like calling each other slurs? Aren't you wait, aren't you signal boosting Kiwi Farms now? <laughs> I don't <laughs> You can't make this up. You actually can't make this up. You're just you're 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 signal boosting Kiwi Farms homophobic insults towards other people, harassment on Kiwi Farms towards other people, and you're signal boosting it. After this whole spiel, after you've just spent two hours accusing people of being Kiwi Farms associated for retweeting cancellation threads you didn't like. <laughs> Holy shit! Dude. Can you, can, uh, okay, next up, can someone send me whatever the, f whatever the fuck Keemstar is cooking? Uh, Kevils, I'd like to ask if it's okay with you. Why do abusers do what they do? She knows that her behavior to you will ruin uh, her career. Why do abusers bother their ex after they do not associate? Be control. That's it. My ex wants control. And the only way that she has any amount of control over me is to slander me at this point. Notice how she never gave a shit. She just tried to move on. We both tried to move on. And then I started shitting on tankies. And then suddenly this came up. This just came up. There's like an ideological motive, in my opinion, at least, underpinning why she decided to do this when she did. Wait, did, did someone link me the Keemstar thread? All right. I haven't ratioed Keemstar in a really long time. I'm really happy. Are you all chat? Can you can you help me relive the old? She's still on this ratio shit, dude. This for a moment. Oh, and Keffel's making unsubstantiated claims on on Twitter, calling someone a pedophile with no evidence. Okay. Let me get you the link. Wasn't that what she was just fucking complaining about 20 minutes ago? This turned out- this turned out great. Or is this okay because this, this is far left disinformation and, and that was far right disinformation? You don't have Twitter? Good for you. No, this feels, this feels awesome. I feel like I really took control of the narrative. Everyone knows, and I hope- I, I seriously hope people don't buy this, but I do not have a lot of faith. Other people can respect that I had to go through all this shit, and I just couldn't- I, I never talked about it. All this shit was happening behind the scenes, and I knew about it, I just never said anything. Sounds insane when you talk about it, but Nico fucked up that many times. The the one thing that um the one thing with Nico is that Nico's pride got in the way. Like it wasn't enough for Nico to just spread misinfo. Nico really wanted the validation. That's and based. that's what led to this. That's based. Nico needed it needed to be known that Nico was behind it. Because that was the highlight of Nico's entire life. And that is the saddest shit I've ever heard. Like the fact that he like 
the fact that Nico, whatever your pronouns are, Nico, I'm sorry if I misgendered you. Um, whatever Nico uh, was thinking. Oh, I'm sorry if I misgendered you, but I just. Oh, it's a fish tank. Okay. Um, I'm sorry I misgendered you, but I just signal boosted Kiwi Farms calling you an F slur. All right, dude. All right, dude. To me in DMs and then sending me their Kiwi Farms profile picture. The fact that um, Nico didn't even deny it and then deleted the account during the stream. Like. <laughs> oh, man. I did. I ratioed a pedophile. W, chat. <laughs> I should pop open some champagne. I don't. I don't. I gotta figure out what's even open in Belfast at like 1 a.m. Probably chips. Uh, pizza. That's the only thing that you can eat, like, order out here at this time. Chips and pizza. Wait, Zan denied that he's friends with a kiwi farmer two days ago? Links, links, or it's not real. He was actually lying? Is that. Okay, hold on. Indian food? Maybe. I... Wait, where? Um, I'm, I'm reading this, but I don't, I don't see where Xan denies this. Am I reading this wrong? Oh, he, he's denying that he's friends with Nick to Oreo. Yeah, I don't, I don't think they're friends. I think that he just gave Nicholas to Oreo moderator in chat. The person he's friends with who is a Kiwi Farms user, that's a completely different person. Yeah, the person he says is his friend that's a progressive Kiwi Farms user, that was someone named Maddie. Why do you give Nick mod status? I don't know. Probably like the same reason I gave Cybersmith a blue name in my chat. It was funny. Sometimes I do stupid shit because I think it's funny. I can't hold that one against him, you know? There are certain things that I absolutely will not, uh, I'll not hand it to him. But, but that's one of those things where it's like, I don't know. Somebody lost a lot of friends because of Kiwi Farms for defending you, Kefalos, and happy you're taking the power back. Yeah, I've been avoiding talking about this for, like, so long. Yeah, it was hard. It was hard. It was, like, I think it was also disappointing to people. Um, but I really needed the time to heal after everything that happened. I've been through, I went through the fucking ringer in 2023. I'm hoping 2024 is going to be more chill. However, there's a good indicator. This stream, the one you're all watching right now, peaked at a higher viewership number than the stream I did over a year ago when Cladflare dropped Kiwi Farms and I had no raids from any other content creator. I think we had like, between Twitch and YouTube, only like 3,000 oh, 3,500 people. And during the Cladflare thing, I got a big Vosh raid. No raids this time. We were just able to pull people together. Bad Empanada wants to sue? For what? Based. Someone should sue Kefels. Anyone else want to? Anyone else who donated to Kefels want to start a class action lawsuit against your misuse of our funds? One hundred percent. So this Tom. is just him being an attention whore. There's a yo, 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 yo. <laughs> Holy based empanada. <laughs> Please do this. Please. <laughs> Please be actually serious. Holy fuck. Oh, man. A refund button on GoFundMe? If, if he wants, I'll give him his 50 bucks back. Um, he lives in fucking Argentina. He did donate to me. Um, he gave me 50 bucks back then. There's a donate button. I talked to a lawyer before I put up the GoFundMe. I have only used the GoFundMe for the things that were specified by the lawyer. Um, I did not pay taxes. Okay. This is so sneaky because the thing is, in our GoFundMe, it says it's there to recoup losses. Which is like a fucking total catch-all. To just get away with spending that money however the fuck you want, even though you claimed that there was going to be a legal fund and that you were going to be fighting this. Yeah, but the thing is, you can spend it on drugs. She can blow it on drugs because it, it it does say to recoup losses. So doesn't that just mean it's your fucking income? It's on the GoFundMe because it was all charitable donations. He has nothing. This is just attention whoring nonsense from an Australian who lives in Argentina. Yeah, just like.
I, I, I can't imagine uh, living in a country with an ANCAP that got elected president. Like, that's what, this is what you're focusing on? Jesus Christ, dude. Thank you, SG. Thank are Canadians you, thank racist you. against Australians like British people and uh, us people are US people? Australians are just kind of like if, if um, they're like if British people were from Texas or something. I don't fucking know. They weird me out a little bit. No hate to the Aussies here. I love you all. Uh, but that's that's kind of how I see you. Hey, fuck you, I'm Australian. Fuck you too. I'm, I'm Canadian. That's probably worse, being Canadian. That's kind of cringe. They are criminals. All right, did I, did I miss anything? I mean, chat. Chat, you realize... Like, do you remember back in the day, Destiny said he would send me a cease and desist? Yeah, I fucking you all remember this, right? guys. Fucking absolute high my pussy. He did. He did send me a cease and desist letter. Yeah, but he never followed and up I didn't on do it. Anything, fucking... Or address it. And then he moved on. You, you, he fucking said he was going to get retractions from all those fucking journalists that covered this shit. Fucking pussy killed over. Stroke the sheenus. Because there was no point. There's no point in. He just wanted it to be content. So, I think that's why. I think that was the moment. That was the moment where I turned turned on Destiny. Really. It was when he uh, killed over for Keffels. Said he was going to get retractions from Taylor Lorenz and all these people. Said he was going to go on a massive crusade. Said he was going to support Kiwi Farms. None of it happened. But that's not what he said, is it? I wrestle Weaves. He, he changed his mind afterwards and he was like, I just wanted to stop talking about me. Initially, he said he was going to pursue it fully and get retractions from all the journalists. But he never, he never did any of that. He just dropped it when she stopped talking. He underestimated how much that would cost. Well, he said he had a lawyer on retainer for it and all this shit. I'm just saying, look, he was, the way he was talking, it was, he was like, it's going to happen, it's going to happen. I'm going to do all this, I'm going to do all this crazy stuff. He never did. I wrestle weebs. Engage with a fucking point. She might have been sent the cease and desist. That is not the only thing Destiny said he was going to do. He said he was going to send the Kelfels a cease and desist, and he was also going to pursue retractions from all the journalists and be launching lawsuits to try and get them. He said he was going to do all that shit. All retractions, apology, and floating donating 10k to Josh Moon. Yes, exactly. You're an idiot. Shut up. Like, he wanted me to react to it for, for content, I think. Either way, I apologized. I still think he did me wrong in some ways, but I think I did him dirty as well. And I, I don't know, I shook his hand in person. I'm like, I'm sorry for being a dickhead and a little shit last year. Because I just, I want to move on with my life. I didn't even, I didn't expect an apology back because it's, it's fucking whatever. I don't need one. Sometimes you have to be willing to just move on. Yep, and the journalists, he was getting full retractions um, from Taylor Lorenz and all banned. the other people. I tagged Twitter, and he happened to get banned at the same time that I tagged, uh, tagged his Twitch on Twitter. That was just like a coincidence, and then I trolled and said that I did because it was funny. But, I, I don't know. I, he, he actually kind of impressed me, uh, recently. In his breakup with, uh, Melina. He was saying on- What about the breakup with Melina could have possibly fucking impressed you? ...stream that, um, he, he was talking to his therapist and he really didn't want to make it content. And honestly, like, he could have dragged that on and made it all- No. That's no. He was going to make it content until his therapist had a three-hour intervention with him. <laughs> Whole fucking thing, and he didn't. And that's respectable to me. Not everything needs to be content. That's part of the reason why I'm so pissed about this stuff with my ex because it it never needed to be content. There are things in my life that do not need to be on camera. Not everything needs to be content. What kind of YouTuber am I? I don't know. Fucking gay one. I know that. Wait, did you just send me my own post, or did I just fuck up somehow? Why does it keep... See, okay, hold on. Oh, I see. Wap Goblin is really desperate. You know, I really respected that, that this guy didn't abuse his wife publicly. I really respected that this, on this one time he didn't, he didn't emotionally abuse his wife publicly. I really respect that. That was really impressive. For attention, we're getting also, like yeah, multiple start with press, press down in the bottom left. There's a button style that says live. Live. It should have a red dot next to it. And if it doesn't, you should, you should click it. Deep. No comments. Seek help. And yeah, my wiggler is deliberately slowed down because it's too fast. <laughs> this is actually funny. <laughs> it's 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 so insane. <laughs> Damn, I didn't need I didn't know I needed to seek help for having a good time. I didn't know that um having a little laugh 
is a mental illness. Yeah, exactly. You show themselves so hard. <laughs> I'm learning so much from Wop Goblin today. Hey, can, can, uh, can, can people uh, do me a favor and just, just go ask Wop Goblin why you aren't posting the clips of the actual receipts from the stream instead of um, only posting me reacting to Wop Goblin's tweet? They blocked it years ago. I'm sure like everyone's blocked. But unreal, is the individual in the Keppel song the person who made the song about Keppel's? Yes, that's the person who made the song. Wait, she's denying she knows Moon? What is all of this ha How is all of this happening? Yeah, so I'm never saying the full Kiwi Farm name again, and I'm going to try and stay away from talking about it because the literal creator of Kiwi Farms now knows I exist because of Keppel's. I do not want to become a target of that website, so I may go private for a little while. Well, isn't that nice? Isn't that sweet? I'm so happy for you that you had that opportunity. I never had that choice, Wop Goblin. Hey, hey, Wop You've just tied this person to Kiwi Farms for no fucking reason. This is your fault this is happening. Pop Goblin, you're still watching? You're still watching, right? This is my shoe. Why don't you fucking take a step in it? Bitch. This is literally just weaponizing Kiwi Farms because people are saying bad things about you. No? That is literally what she's doing. That, that, I'm... <laughs> Can't believe I took, a shoe, took my shoe off for a bit. Oh, no, they're really, these are really comfy shoes. You, if you want some, like, really comfy shoes that are, um, like, good for, good for the winter, I'll show you where I got them. Hold on. Do, 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 do. Okay, I found it. They're, like, $200 shoes, but they are, um, it's an, it's a, an indigenous company, so you're supporting indigenous businesses if you buy it. Manitoba Mukluks. Manitoba Mukluks, please sponsor me. Um, incredible footwear. Last really, last a real long time. Um, foot lining is sheepskin shirling, uh, the material cowhide swede, rabbit fur, wa definitely waterproof, and the temperature rating is up to negative 25 degrees Fahrenheit in active use. Show the colors. You got gay, communism, um, satisfactory, um, default, gay but top. Look, they, these are big shoes, but they are, it's a women's five, women's six, women's seven, women's eight, women's nine, women's ten, women's eleven, so... Um, oh, oh, but Stylo's behind, sorry, so he's seeing the shoe get pulled up in front of the camera right now. Sorry, we'll, we'll, we'll wait for Stylo, it's okay. Sorry, Stylo, let me just know when you heard this so I can resume my commentary, okay? ha <laughs> It's pronounced suede. My bad. <laughs> do that. Do that. Chill. 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 I'll how, stop playing how the you. fuck has this stream only been two hours and twenty minutes? <laughs> I feel like I've been here for a week. <laughs> You're in there. <laughs> now the little, little oh no. Exists the couples. Actually, okay. What's he here for? Stylo, what do you want? Kill yourself. <laughs> Kill yourself. <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> No, this was a learning moment for me. This is why I apologize to Destiny. Wait. Last year, I blamed Destiny for Kiwi Farms knowing that I exist. But I realized something. I took a good, hard think about everything that happened, and I realized I was victim blaming. He didn't choose to be a target of Kiwi Farms. He didn't choose to get his son doxxed by Kiwi Farms. That wasn't his choice. But he had to live with it, because once they find out about you, they never leave you alone. Forever. Ever. So what, it's okay for you to put Kiwi Farms onto other people? And it's okay for him to direct people towards Kiwi Farms? What? What is his argument? What is his argument? This makes no fucking sense. Makes no sense with the actions. Makes no sense even just in terms of what happened. Destiny was posting Kiwi Farms memes at her. He directed them towards Kiwi Farms to go talk about Anna. Like, I don't... And I, I victim-blamed him. And that was fucked up. Like, you can criticize him for any other thing. I will never hold it against you if you criticize any of his political positions. But that's not one of the things. Yeah, and they're never gonna leave Destiny alone, because that motherfucker sits there and just talks in his own thread, and just chats with people in there. And yeah, there are dead threads, absolutely, yeah. Like, I don't know. Even if you don't agree with people on everything, and I don't agree with Destiny on a lot of issues, I think we all need to recognize the humanity in each other. That's it.
we're all just we're all just fucking people at the end of the day i love you so much even though you're a giant faggot that's so true i think i should probably uh read off i missed all the super chats and i'm very sorry to anyone who gave me money um that i can't they're, they're gone so i'm gonna read the site chats and i'm gonna i'm gonna call it a night this was a monumental w thank you all for being here biggest stream of the year capping off 2023 jesus christ i can't imagine what insane adventures lie what insane adventures lie ahead of us also um if you're new to this community uh this discord that has like all the chats on behind us you can join it at discord.gg slash capway ranch i'm like always there in general ship posting and there's a weekly support group um uh, which might get expanded in the future because like the last one peaked at like 28 people um so because it's such a huge success i'm considering expanding how do i feel about talking about all this i feel awesome I got to talk uh, also i'm not sure what what are the what are the rules on trans women saying the f slur what are the rules on that talk about all of these things i've been bottling up for so long the shit that happened with kiwi farms the shit that happened with my ex that's all out there i said my story and some people are gonna shit talk me for it i don't care i know what the truth is and I painstakingly put together all of the evidence or all the claims that I made. And if people don't want to engage with the actual evidence I put forward, eat shit. But I know that the people here... Yeah, I just engaged with all the evidence here and it was fucking terrible and you sound like a complete retard. ...who stuck around, respect me for it. And that's who I'm here for. So thank you. This has been amazing. <laughs> Sorry, I just read Gibson's comment. Kevles, how's it feel to be the target of what some are calling uh, history's most retarded conspiracy? <laughs> And then, and then there's like Cybersmith. So with any of this made you reconsider leftism, Kevils? It sounds like, oh, no, no, Cybersmith, I'm not going to be a monarchist. I'm never going to be a monarchist. Well, that was fucking terrible. Also, yeah, saying that she thought Destiny was bad because he made her a target of Kiwi Farms. Um, we've got this here. Uh, yeah, so remember the quote? I made myself a target of Kiwi Farms to bring them down. Said I had to make myself a target. Well, listen, I think there's going to be a big response from the Xanderhall camp in the next few days. So it is not it is not settled. This is not a settled. This is not a settled drama. This is still to play out, and we'll uh, we'll see because. Yeah, like myself, and I'm sure Sunday will be happily throwing rocks from the side. Keep hearing Xanderhal is working like Oppenheimer from my sources. Yeah, I feel like Zan listen, Xanderhal's fucking incompetent, but this is such an easy thing to tear, tear apart. I think she probably did this to try and push him into not doing anything, but I think this is... I, I don't want... I, I Honestly, this is a one-time... The one time I am pulling for Xanderhal. I will be Xanderhal's strongest soldier for the next week, okay? And then I'll go back to hating him.